started to use mixer testing strategies to increase the quality of our software releases. Today I'm going to talk about web browser automation, which allows us to record and playback interactive click-throughs on your website to ensure key functionality is working before each release. This strategy helps maintain quality during the maintenance cycle and prevents seemingly small changes to your site, causing large inconvenience. How does it work? Well first, we write a series of user stories that define test coverage. A user story is something like this. As an anonymous user, I can log on using a valid username and password and then click a link to view my tax receipts. Rather than being technically focused, user stories are written from the user's perspective and they cover business value. It's important that the process for creating and selecting these stories is collaborative, so we work with the customer to identify the most important business functions to protect, rather than looking from a technical standpoint. Essentially, this allows us to reach a shared definition of release quality with the customer. And we can evolve this over time as new features are added or as new business requirements are discovered. Then we create reliable sample data as a starting point and we record the user stories and add checks or what we call assertions into the test script. For example, we may click through the join process and then check at the, at the end for a particular message. We can run these tests manually like I'm doing now or we can import them into our automated test environment which will allow us to automatically run the tests every time we check in any code changes across a bunch of browsers so you get coverage from IE6 through to IE9, Firefox, Safari, Chrome, etc. Web browser automation is one of the many testing strategies we use when developing and maintaining complex websites, especially when they may have transactional capabilities like this one, or requirements for high reliability. This type of testing has an initial cost to set up, but it saves money in the long run, as well as embarrassment. So contact DataLink if you'd like to find out more.